Hey guys, Psalm 3 is a prayer of trust in God from King David. And listen to what he says. Lord, how my enemies have increased. Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts my head. Did you notice that this three pound brain of ours, this thing between our ears and behind our eyes up here underneath our skull, uh, gets bombarded? I have a friend who wrote a book called The Battlefield of the Mind. And uh, when I grew up in Bible school, the teacher really was proficient in talking about uh, casting down imaginations and taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. And uh, our thought life, what we meditate on, what we think about is uh, very important. In fact, in Psalm, what is it, 19 in the last verse, King David said, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Now, what does that have to do with our minds? Well, we, we think what we, as a man thinks, uh, in his heart, so is he. So uh, there's really something to be said about how David dealt with the battles of his life. I mean, I think about President Abraham Lincoln and how he ultimately got shot in the back of the head by a coward actor who was so evil that uh, took advantage of uh, a drop in the security and, and took out the President of the United States and I think about how prior to that, Lincoln was this young man that famously, you know, grew up in a log cabin and, you know, was kind of self-taught in his education and, you know, came up in the ranks. Uh, he had a sense of humor. He picked up his little brother with his uh, dirty feet and, and had him put footprints on the ceiling uh, to make his mom laugh, you know, and, um, he aspired to leadership and he, he, he wanted, he, he lived in rural America and he wanted to connect these great communities by building infrastructure, bridges, roads. Of course, at that time it was pre-automobile, pre-flight, manned flight. So it had to do with trains, boats, and uh, horse-drawn buggies and carriages. Um, so he wanted to build rails and he wanted to build uh, boating, you know, docks and connect, you know, with barges and things like that, bridges, uh, ferries, um, and roads. So that was his aspiration. And then he ended up becoming a wartime president where there was a war between the states and uh, a lot of it was socioeconomic. Uh, a vast part of it, of course, was the abolition of slavery, which he is famous for having uh, emancipated the slaves. And that uh, I remember in college, I was studying and I saw political cartoons that were in newspapers and they mocked Abraham Lincoln um, during the election processes. They would they belittled him, the they being his opponents. And he had to provide leadership. This was his destiny. He even in, I, 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 I read a pretty complex story about how he had reoccurring dreams about a destiny he had about being a leader. Well, I think then about the parallel of King David and how his involvement in providing leadership elicited attack. And his point was, Lord, my enemies have increased. And if you study the life of David, in this case, it was even from one of his sons, Absalom, who had uh, uh, rebelled against him, which would be, you know, really close to his heart and really, therefore, very difficult. He said, many are rising up against me. Uh, many are saying of my soul, there's no salvation for him and God, which is really an insult because David was all about, which we later read in the Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. lack. He, 
He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Hey, I don't know what you're worrying about right now, but think about what it takes to be a king or a president. I, I, I talked to a local um, a state senator here, and I, and I spoke to a, a, a uh, county executive for an adjacent county, and I, I, thank, I thanked them both for providing leadership. I said, you know, you end up getting a kick me sign taped on your back when you step up to lead. And one guy said, yeah, you know, I, 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 I knew what I was signing up for. But the other guy said, uh, yeah, it's gotten fierce. Well, it, it goes in cycles, but you may not be a president or a king, but you are in a role of responsibility and, re and leadership. You, a mother in a home, a, a father, a worker on a job. We all have our sphere of influence. We all have our responsibilities and Satan knows that, and he only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And uh, the Bible says, woe to you when all men speak well of you. Um, you know, you're never going to be able to make everybody happy. But what you can do in these moments where you realize, man, there's some stressors around me. This, 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 is create, this could potentially make me filled with anxiety. But here's what he does. He says, this is the way it is here, but... You, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory and the one who lifts my head. I was crying out to the Lord with my voice, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down to sleep, <laughs> and I slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, Lord, save me, my God. For you have struck all my enemies on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. This is so Old Testament. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be upon your people. And I want to say amen to that. Spend some time on Psalm 3. Then go over to Psalm 23 and then get a good night's sleep, realizing that the Lord is present to help you through the battles, no matter how harsh. We pray for our leaders, the ones we like, the ones we don't like, the ones we voted for, the ones we did not vote for. We trust God, and then that it may be well with us, and may we that we may lead tranquil lives. That's what Abraham Lincoln, I started with him. He cared about the, the lovers of tranquility. But boy, did he have a hard life. And uh, yet, you know what? We just press on knowing that God is going to see us through in every situation. God bless you.